Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Weston. Most call me Wes. And today I'm finally gonna do a little truck tour for you guys. And I'm gonna show you how exactly I sleep in the back of my uh, double cab 2015 Chevy Silverado. These are the Axial headlights. I ordered them on uh, americantrucks.com. I do like to look them a lot better in the stock ones. I'd like to get a different color grill. I'd like to get a black grill. I'd like to get black bumpers at some point. And I'd like to get new wheels, or at least powder coat them, because as you can see, I got stuck one time, scuffed them really good, now they're starting to rust. So I want to get uh, them fixed, or powder coated, or just get new ones in general. And then on here, I got the Wrangler Duratrax 275-65R18s. And uh, these have done pretty good for me. They've treated me pretty well through snow and mud, and uh, I like them. So this is the double cab, meaning it's uh, like the new extended cab. It's four doors, but uh, it's got a smaller cab. Not quite as big as the crew cab. I got a six and a half foot box. And then uh, here's just some of the stuff I have in the back. It's kind of messy. I did clean it up a bit, but I got the essentials. I got my stove. I got my clothes. And if you go into these totes, I got all my cooking utensils, hot sauce, propane, and then this one has got extension cords, um, some miscellaneous snacks, got a lantern, got a shovel right there, as you guys can see, an auger, because I've been doing a lot of ice fishing, and uh, extra pair of boots, and then uh, this guy has to go on the back seat. I run this almost every time. This is my uh, ice hole power box got a uh, waterproof marine speakers it's got a light glow cup here for my glow jigs it's got a spot for an inverter uh, charger 12 volt and then two USB ports as well a little digital temperature readout and that tells you the, the volts right there as well but yeah this, uh, this truck's been really good to me and I get a lot of questions recently about how I sleep in the back so I'm gonna show you guys Figured it was about time I did a little video and just demonstrating how exactly I fit and sleep in the back seat. So let's get into it. Alrighty. So here is the back seat. Got a couple pillows up there as you can see. Got my quilt. Underneath my quilt, I have my 40 degree sleeping bag. And then I have a comforter. I got these seat covers, which you can tell. They're decent padding. They uh, kind of have some foam in them. It's like a memory foam kind of material. These are actually from Cover King. They're a custom fit to my truck. And uh, you guys can pick the color, pick whatever style pattern you want. And uh, I really like them. They're a little spendy, but they were worth it on my end. So anyways, let's crawl in here. Normally when I get in, shut the door, just like that, scoot back, and uh, as you can see, I fit about perfect back here. I'm almost six feet tall, and uh, if I just tilt my legs to the side just a little bit from that door hinge, um, I'm perfectly comfortable just like this. I recently just swapped out the bracket, I had a store bought one before. Um, just a little hanger. I ended up making this. I'll link that video in the description. But I got one fan here, another fan here, and then I just got some miscellaneous brackets for GoPros, and then just a bunch of Polaroids from all my adventures. And then uh, this is the Rail Blaza, Rail Blaza, however you want to call it, bracket mount for my tablet. There's the the brand. I just stick the connector right in there. There's a little lock. So I lock it in place, put it right in here just like this. This slides, I just stick the tablet in, lock that into place. This bracket's pretty awesome. If you guys are interested in that, I'll leave that in the description as well. And then, uh, yeah, watch Netflix or whatever. And I can take this and shift it left, right, up, down, however I want it. And when I lay back, it's pretty much just about perfect. And yeah, this fan, I gotta mount it 
remount it a little bit, which it's dead right now. I got to charge it, but it's got a little USB port on the back. I plug a little uh, charger in, and that thing will run on pretty good speed all night long and keep me cool and get some cool air on my face. Back here in the back seat compartments, I got TP. You never know when you might need that. And then back here, I got some deodorant, body spray, and uh, a couple miscellaneous things. But I got a GoPro mount on that side. I got one mounted there in the front to film. I got another one back up here in my window. And when I put the Reflectix up, I obviously don't use that one. Reflectix fits the whole window. And uh, I normally keep it right down there. And then when I get to the campground, I pull it out really quick. I cover the front window with that window shade and then I use the Reflectix, which you guys have probably seen if you watch my channel before. And uh, gives you nice privacy. Up here, I did mount a little LED light. This is from Amazon. I could try finding that and listing that in the link too. It's actually pretty bright when it's got fresh batteries. And uh, it works pretty well because after a while these time out so you can't turn the light on and off after the truck's been shut off. I got a speaker mounted up here if I ever wanted a Bluetooth speaker above the bracket. I did try using these. These are uh, hyper tough. They're just a light, like a utility light. I tried mounting these on the back side of my truck by the window here with some uh, Velcro. And they're just too big and bulky and you got to turn them on from the back. So uh, it just didn't work out. Ripped the adhesive right off. I had two of them. And then I also tried small cheaper puck lights from uh, Menards and these weren't worth a the crap these things are terrible they suck the lumens are terrible and uh, yeah I'm in need of an upgrade I'm gonna get this video out and then the next video I'm gonna be installing some uh, Amazon LED puck lights these things are pretty awesome I've already checked them out and uh, they're pretty bright I think they're gonna be quite the addition and then if you go back here behind my head right down here in the crease you got the seat belt you come down i got a little box mounted right here if i flip that switch on i got led lights that run all the way around the back side and there's also a, a setting on there you could flip it up one and it's on a, a timer and it's motion detected so if the timer runs out all you gotta do is swipe your hand down here or just move and uh, they'll come back on which that's always nice too at night when I'm watching a movie to have a little bit of lighting switch down and they are off and that's run by two AA batteries so that thing works pretty slick when I get in here all nice and comfy I normally just uh, take my shoes off and I'll set them right down there on the floorboard and then in the morning I just grab them and throw them back on that way it's not getting water, or ice, or snow all over uh, my back seat. Definitely not too bad. As you guys can see, I can lay down. Normally at night I just turn on my side just a little bit like this and keep my feet right on the left side of that door handle. And uh, I'm comfy as can be, honestly. In the summer, like I said, I run this fan to keep me cool. And uh, yeah, I watch videos. On Netflix right on my tablet here that I have downloaded and uh, For the most part, that's pretty much it. There's a couple more modifications. I'd like to do down the road, but uh For right now, I just like it like this super easy convenient I could just hop in the back go to sleep. I don't have to worry about hopping in the back of the truck and underneath the topper and I feel like it stays warmer in here with the Reflectix up Reflectix definitely helps with uh, holding heat and it keeps you you know, it gives you some privacy as well. So that's why I like the Reflectix. But I'm going to mount them. Uh, the next little video I'm going to post, I'm going to mount some puck lights right up here. And that should be a pretty sweet addition. But for the most part, it's set up how I like it. And I'll show you guys exactly how I uh, have this set up down here. I got some pots and pans. Not a lot, which you guys can't even really see. If I open that door behind the passenger seat. I got some pots and pans that are easily accessible and then on this side it's uh, pretty much wide open space you can tuck whatever you want down there some extra clothes 
you know, a lantern. I had the lantern in there. I ended up moving it to the back, so I freed up some space. And uh, up here on the front, I got a little magnetic thermometer. It tells me the temp inside my truck, how uh, warm it got throughout the day and how cold it got for the max. And I just leave that right there. It's easy to read. Yeah, that's honestly pretty much it for the most part. Take a Polaroid with me too. I'm just that kind of guy. I like taking some old school photos. So this thing's pretty neat. And then I hang them up here. Whenever I'm on a trip, I can just look back at uh, all the good memories. Got some more up there. And uh, yeah, anyways, I wanted this video to be short and sweet. And just kind of show you a little overview of how uh, I exactly sleep in the back. And then when I get out at night to take a pee or whatever, I just turn it like this and uh, step right out. And overall, that's pretty much it, guys. Super easy, super easy, convenient, and uh, it seems to fit my style pretty well. Also in the back here, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to take out, but got an inverter, uh, little heater, ratchet straps, um, tire plug kit, just a bunch of stuff. My whole back seat folds up, which it's kind of hard to right now. I got batteries back there hammer just stuff to get me out of a bad situation i need to go through and actually take some of that stuff out because i don't use a lot of it very often i need to optimize my space just a little bit better but another thing this power box i was talking about i just set that right down there in between the seats and then i got my on and off switch i could plug in my heated blanket or whatever which i don't have it in here right now but i will on them really cold days but overall, this keeps me pretty warm. Got the comforter, sleeping bag, and then my quilt. And uh, yeah, turn that on. You can plug in your phone, do whatever. I set my phone up here. And uh, yeah, I really do like this little setup. I plan on doing a lot of videos with it this summer and uh, this spring and the rest of this winter. So hopefully this helped out a little bit to my front. Hey, nothing special. I got this window shade, reflectix. I always got a gun in here. You got a knife strapped down here at all times. Too fast if I need a knife, easily accessible, just on Velcro. If I go in down here, I got all my flashlights and just a bunch of stuff. It's kind of getting unorganized, but uh, for the most part, that's it. Well, guys, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Just a quick little video on uh, how I have it set up and how I sleep in the back. So if I missed anything, if you guys have any questions or want to leave a comment and ask me a question, I will uh, answer them and hopefully I didn't miss anything. And if you guys think of something that I missed and uh, want to know, leave it in the comments below and I will uh, I'll answer them. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this little truck tour. I'm going to get installing them uh, puck lights. And there's a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.